Hello everyone, this is Terry, and welcome to my channel. And this is another edition of An Orchid A Day. And today what I am doing is I have repotted, well, I haven't repotted. I have repotted three of the four plants here, but um, they already have been repotted, but I want to introduce you to them. And I guess I will explain just my reasonings for why I have repotted them. And anyway, let me just get to it. Um, these are introductions. I talked about this before. This is my Encelia ins um, Epicana, which you can see I had just repotted it, 421, and the name Encelia Africana Footwell Focus. And as I said in the previous video, when I introduced this plant, I said that Ancelia is considered to be a monotype, grows epiphytically on branches, just below the canopy of large trees. Uh, the roots like to be kept moist, although they can take uh, prolonged periods of dryness and plant likes highlight in order to bloom. There is the flower. I just potted it up and loosely in bark. I left the roots somewhat out of the pot um, because they are somewhat aerial in nature. They like to come up and serve as a nest which collects the debris and, and then it serves as an extra fertilizer for the plant. This is in spike. There's the buds. Next plant here we have is my Arpophyllum. Gigantia, which I've had for a while. And this is the Arpophyllum, that's the flower. Arpophyllums are slender, short stem, coriaceous leaf, sickle like, produce compact mini flower, direct spike of non resupinate, reddish purple flowers, which are attractive. Plants require humid potting media with very good drainage. And this says Gigantia is the largest of the genus from Mexico to Costa Rica. Um, flowering is from January to March. And I recently found out from gnats, which is when I got where I got this plant from, that they like to be um, watered year round. I was growing this kind of like a cymbidium and getting a little bit of a drier rest in the winter, but it likes um, somewhat of a shady position in winter, but and well, shady year round with a little bit of dappled sun, but it likes to be watered year round, like a lot of water, especially when it is growing. And you can see at the base that there are a few growths that have started and it has staked up because it is a very tall and dangly plant and sorry for the light, but it is a very tall previously bloomed plant. Now in front of here is a plant that I have repotted recently can see those green root tips. It has been lightly potted up in bark only. This is my LC fire dance, which is catatante, I guess. Fire dance, also Patricia, which is Corriente Rantiaca times Fire Island. This is a very vivid red, one of the most vivid red uh, flowers, almost silky looking, um, velvety, velvety dark, intense, uh, dark red flowers, long lasting. These do put up their new growths, um, which is happening now. You can see there's one there, which would make it the perfect time to be repotted. They put up their growths, they, uh, the growths put up, they mature at the end of the growth season, and then they like to be a little bit rested while they are in sheath and then they typically bloom this time of the year early spring late winter from dried sheath similar to what an Arantiaca does that's that plant it is just as I said planted loosely in bark I'm hoping that those roots eventually attach to the clay pot and finally the last plant that I have is a species I've had this plant and I Killed it and needed another one. This is Pleurothallus adelaide. Now this plant is from Bolivia. It's a species from Bolivia and Ecuador um, from moist 
uh, areas it likes mostly shade but it does get sun in its native environment um, it blooms uh, continue not continuously but it can bloom repeatedly from the old blooms sheaths um, I'm not sure if any of these will bloom because it looks as if they are dried I think they have to be green in order for them to remain viable to bloom but anyway hopefully soon I will see some growths coming up from the base these do like a lot of water year round not a lot but they don't like to dry out um, and this looks like it is just a division that's kind of just loosely potted up in bark so I am gonna have to firm this up or stake it up initially until it gets situated and adapted and that is this video thanks for watching enjoy your orchids bye